Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2021, on this July 30th, Friday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. With thankfulness from our heart, let us worship and praise Him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Lift your hand and tell Him thank you. The Lord who led us last days, tell Him thank you, Father, last days, for wonderfully leading us. For your love, we are telling you thank you. Like how the hen protects her chicks under her wings. Father, for protecting us, for your mercy and for your grace. We are telling you thank you, Father, thank you. Thank you. We worship you. We praise you. Last night for the good sleep you gave us, thank you. With good health, happiness, peace and rest to wake up this morning, Father, for the great privilege. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night. Thank you. This morning for waking us up for your mercy and grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. This morning also wonderfully you is leading us, remembering your mercy and grace. We are telling you thank you. This morning you who is wonderfully protecting us, leading us, Father, we tell you thank you. Hallelujah. Father, for taking care of us, for preserving us, for your grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Psalms 103, it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Lord Jesus, for all that you have done for us, we tell you thank you. For delivering our soul from death, for delivering our eyes from tears, for delivering our feet from falling. Father, thank you. Who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Verse number 11, for as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. Father, thank you for this wonderful time you have given to us. We are worshipping you, Lord. We are telling you thank you, Father, for your mercy, for your grace, for your love for your compassion towards us for everything we are telling you thank you let us all pray together let us not be quiet but open our mouth and thank him dear heavenly father for this blessed morning thank you for the good sleep you gave us last night thank you this morning you who woke us up with good health and happiness for your mercy and grace thank you thank you for protecting us last morning thank you for taking care of us last night thank you for making us to wake up this morning with good health and furthermore you who is continuing leading us we tell you thank you father we are praying for all who are hearing this voice today in the name of jesus father we bless them bless their family life bless the children you have given let their body be blessed let their workplace father their financial resource father let it be blessed lord jesus everywhere that you have kept your children let them be a blessing to enjoy your blessing thank you for your mercy and grace Father, you who have the authority over heaven and earth, we bless them. If there is anyone sick hearing this voice, Father, in the name of Jesus, the word of God that healeth your children, let it be built in the heart of your children. I am the Lord that healeth thee. I will send my word and heal them. In the name of Jesus, Father, your word, let it pierce into their heart. And in the name of Jesus, let your children be healed. Complete healing, deliverance. Father, rest and peace. Let them enjoy it. Every discomfort in the throat, let it be healed. Every discomfort in the body, completely, Lord. Thank you for healing your children. Every problem in the head, every difficulty in the chest, in the name of Jesus, let them be healed. Blood report, let it be normal. Every scanning report, in the name of Jesus, let it be normal. Father, miraculous healing, Thank you for giving it unto your children, for there is nothing impossible for you. You are a God who delivers, and in the name of Jesus, the power of yours that healeth your children, thank you for it is prevailing upon them, the power that delivers your children. Thank you for you are pouring it upon your children, complete healing, complete deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for giving it unto your children. 
Father, those who are worried about their children, we give them into thy hands. Father, you who is the Prince of Peace, Father, the peace of yours in the life of your children, let it prevail in their life. Father, let ways open for your children. Let situations change. You who have the authority over heaven and earth, Father, miraculous change. Let it happen in the life of your children. Hallelujah. Father, today is Friday. Let the church meeting in Middle East. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless Middle East. We bless every congregation meeting in the name of Jesus. Every person, Lord Jesus, we bless them in the name of Jesus. Father, also, we give the fasting prayer that is going to start from tomorrow. Thank you for the mighty works you are going to do. Father, to take part in the fasting prayer, prepare your people, prepare their home, prepare their mind, prepare their body in the life of everyone. Let it be a reason for a blessing, deliverance, comfort, peace and rest. Let this fasting prayer be a reason for it. In the name of Jesus, we bless them every day. Father God, one day after the other, let it be more glorious and blessed. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless you all abundantly this morning. Let the grace, the peace, and the mercy of the Lord increase in your life in abundance, I pray. And let the Lord Almighty use each one of you abundantly this morning. Dear children, a reminder, from tomorrow onwards, we are going to start seven days of fasting prayer. So set aside your time to meditate and sit in the presence of God that you will see great changes in your life, that God would open new ways and new doors for you, that you would see the mighty hand of the Lord working in your life and let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning and let His mighty works be seen in your life and let his name alone be glorified through your life and let his mercy and grace be with you hallelujah today father we are going to meditate from hebrews hallelujah hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 hebrews 13 15 therefore by him let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Today what we are going to think about is giving praise unto the Lord continuously. In our life, the Holy Spirit is reminding us this morning that we have to give praise unto the Lord continuously. In the book of Thessalonians, it says, pray without ceasing, continuously praise him. In the Old Testament, the people used to praise the Lord as a, it used to be a sacrifice. They used to offer sacrifices, also called as a sacrifice of thanksgiving and the praise by offering animals. But in the New Testament, the Holy Spirit is saying, what kind of sacrifice should you offer? Offer the sacrifice of praise to God, not sometimes, but continually. It says continually. Continually offer. Offer the sacrifice of praise to God. The Holy Spirit is reminding us this morning. Hallelujah. So in our life, other than what God has given to us, we don't have anything. I woke up this morning and as I'm saying this message also is the grace of God. Like me, many have slept yesterday. Many have not have gotten up. They have gone to eternal. Many became sick. But it is the grace of God. I am awake this morning. Or I am praising God. <clears throat> Every moment. Because God is protecting us. Or our life would have turned literally upside down. Our Lord he is protecting us miraculously. He is protecting our family. He is protecting our dear ones. That is why we each one of us are enjoying the peace and happiness. So can't we tell the Lord, thank you? Can we stop worshipping the Lord? Hallelujah. Before our dining table, we get the food. For that also we should say thank you. To wear good clothes or daily to wear clothes. If we are getting things in our hand, we should tell him thank you. If we are getting water in our hand, we should say thank you and praise him. Because in some countries, people when they beg for food, when, they, when the others say, we will give you cash, they just say, just give me the water that is in your home. Because that much famine it is to have water. But by the grace of God, food for food, water for food, shelter for shelter, vehicle for vehicle, 
clothes for clothes amen everything he's given us and bless us each and every day and every second to tell him thank you opportunities are coming before us every second so children of god without ceasing to thank him we have got so much opportunities but many of them don't consider it great <clears throat> when we consider even the oxygen that we are breathing children of god we should thank him even as we breathe in it is the grace of god when many of them cannot breathe when they are putting in oxygen mask when they are lying in ventilators father to enjoy to breathe in a good manner it is the grace of god and when you remember that can you not thank him hallelujah everything when you remember we cannot stop from praising him another thing when we turn on to the bible in the old testament hallelujah the greatly discussed people are abraham and david when we read about abraham wherever he used to be he used to build an altar of sacrifice of thanksgiving when you look at david everywhere we can see david thanking and praising god david is saying i will praise the lord at all times his praise shall continually be in my mouth the secret of his victory was thanksgiving offering sacrifice of praise today in this world that we are living to move victoriously a secret is that praising god in anything and everything to tell him thank you to give him the glory hallelujah not a heart of murmuring amen hallelujah saying lord even if i don't get that no problem but for what i have received to tell you thank you to the way you are leading me thank you for keeping me in good health when i remember that how can i not tell you thank you saying in this manner if you are ready to tell him thank you dear children of god your life would be greatly different unlike the others this morning as i am saying this i remember something in our life if possible in a day many times set aside time to tell him thank you special time throughout the day when you are in the office when you are wherever you are when you are journeying take some time set a time aside and say you can call this a praise break sit in the presence of god and tell him thank you when you remember how he's led you hallelujah father i got out from my home because you blessed my journey that i could reach the office or that i can come there or go there saying like this be away and can you do a praise break hallelujah if you are ready to take some break time and praise the lord you will see great changes happening in your life you who is hearing me today the lord is reminding us today if you want to enjoy the presence of god you should praise him if you want to enjoy the peace of god you should be people who thank him many a times we murmur and be sad for what you have not received but today if you are ready to tell him thank you for all that you have received for what you are going to receive tell him thank you without ceasing offer sacrifice of praise unto him by your lips hallelujah in one day many a times in your mind hallelujah to praise him and thank him set aside your time just do it again i'm repeating just set aside a time a day many times hallelujah not to let your request known but to tell him thank you for what he's giving to tell you to tell him thank you for how he's leading you you can say lord because of your grace i'm alive today i'm healthy today hallelujah without my rhythm of life being going wrong it is your grace lord to tell him thank you are you ready to take a break for that Hallelujah your life that you see now you will see it going to a next level so this morning the spirit of lord is very clearly reminding us take a praise break to praise god is set aside a time that was david's secret success secret so these days be set aside a time for the lord and to tell him thank you and that would be greatly blessing in your life try it for the next 3 months and you will see your life being changed surely it will change write down praise break set aside 
your time to praise the Lord. And they let the Lord bless you abundantly this morning. Like how we say tea break. Like how we set aside a time to go and have tea. Like how we set aside a time as a drinks break. In that same manner. Praise break. To worship the Lord. Hallelujah. To tell him thank you for all he has done. To remember all that he has done for you. And to thank him. Let the Holy Spirit help you. And with these words, let the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, let the grace, the peace, the happiness of the Lord increase in your life. Lift your voice and say, in the name of Jesus, I will grow, I will increase and I will multiply. We are blessed, we are really blessed and we are permanently blessed. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you today. Hallelujah.